Only Dono decks I ever rejected. Um, can we keep double stirrings? I don't love that we drew the key. Only have one key in this version. Let's go and go to six. His hand is way better. Yeah, Rona's pretty cool. I think that card, like, their card sounds very fun with, um, Relic of Legends. It's not, like, infinite or anything, and unlikely to, like, be a modern combination of cards, but I think a lot of mana. Ooh, the mirror. Probably, you know, Amulet Titan instead, but... So we're one mana short of turn two Golos. I think we just have to grab Garden. Play gar Garden, and then we go Copy into Bounce Lands. Grazer. I think we can spin Golos next turn, since we can make blue, then red, then... Um, Oh, maybe only two colors with Lotus Field. We'll see, we'll see. Can Rona be the missing piece for Riddlesmith? Mm, not sure. Oh, I liked this card. Yeah, three mana sorcery, five damage to target creature, Planeswalker Battle. Look at top... X card your library X is the excess damage dealt this way, and you can X out one of them and play it till next turn. Probably I, I like the card. I don't know if it, I don't you know wouldn't necessarily say modern card, but I would say that I like it. Third amulet, huh? I think that's fine. Or it's good. So we get to play another amulet before our grazer. Then grazer in the gruel turf. And then we can get lotus field with Golos and we should be able to spin, right? Five. Yeah, we can spin. A lot of good hits here. Probably goes without saying. Okay, that this this lets us spin like three more times. <laughs> No, like we 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 can like draw our entire deck actually. Surely. Another timeless lotus. Just do that one. Should be. This is game over though. I know I'm not, you know, making as much mana as I possibly can. Okay, I'll just throw the door at show show them the door. Right, this is the superior amulet deck. <laughs> Confirmed. Do you get extra land drops if you legend rules? You said no. No, you don't. Is Tiny Tear deck with least interaction? I mean, it's, they're going to have a lot of interaction post board. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Belcher probably is a tier. There's Yogmoth. Doesn't have a lot of interaction. Probably has more than Titan. No door kill for Twitter. We did just door kill. I, I've, I've doored, we've doored like five or six times. I don't know. I don't know how many times I need to tweet about the deck. <laughs> That's why bringing in the mic. Uh, I, I, I did like reasonably looks funny. <laughs> you look funny. 
Thanks. Excited to see what version of Amulet you're playing. <laughs> okay, points to the vault of six. Yeah, yeah, I, well, I, I didn't tweet the door kill, but I tweeted the door in the list at least. BM, just a better banter. Include the door win. We, 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 we've probably got like five door wins, four or five, maybe a little bit more. Don't like that. I guess we're on Saga Beatdown after they stone brave my amulets. <laughs> name Titan. They're they're gonna name amulet like for sure, right? I bet they named Karn. I will. I'll be very happy if they named Karn. They get to see the list though. No turn one grazer into saga. You want to hold your grazers usually for more mana later, because um, I get to hold. I get to go saga, copy the the amulet with garden. Then then grazer is plus three mana instead of plus one. Yeah, yeah. You 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 basically always want to hold grazer unless you need to block something. Is what I am learning and have been told. Reason they could see the hide the deck. I mean, my opponents like they mulliganed and they they spent this time cyborg carding. I could just win this game with Urza Saga beatdown, so I don't think that that's worth conceding the deck for the hide the, the list. Okay, four cards in exile, all amulet vigors. We have one expedition map and one key to tutor with Saga. Could get like map for besage you, but. We are on the beatdown plan. I think I will go ahead and graze the saga to play though for more mana. Next turn, I guess I can go with Zusa and Zusa to activate saga, play another saga. Could be kind of fun. Okay. Yeah, I can yeah, I can use gardens to grow constructs too. Yeah, not, not the worst beat down plan here. It got a little bit worse. <laughs> uh, although they only have two cards left in their hand, they pitch dryad. Non token, yeah, but you can copy something else, you know. The map. I also have Giganthus still. Yeah, as you said, tax for one. We got plenty of lines. And also are dead to a Titan. Well, if their three cards are Dryad, Bounce Land, Titan, we can, we can just die. Although they can potentially Teleria West. They do pick up Teleria West and they transmute. But if they get packed, um, they have to have another bounce land, which is not a guarantee. I also have some Besages I could draw, two Besages. No way. I guess I didn't need, I didn't need to make this main phase, but. Um, yeah, we should just kill the bounce land, I think. Assuming that there is one. They might have been packed before playing the bounce land. I don't know. I guess they shouldn't. Can you copy tokens with that? No, only not. It's non token. And that's what you control, so I can't, I can't copy their amulet. Draw escape to the wilds though. 
Which I guess I can't cast and hold up a, hold up a Seiju unless I find a land. Which obviously I could just find a land, but I kind of like just copy, copy, and then hold up the Besaidu. I can make I can make a, a bunch of things unblockable next turn. I'll take with the Azusa, so if they if they chump block the construct, they they're taking all this damage. Or and if, oh no, this is such a I don't have to besage you up. I I'm just fuck no no damn it. Ugh, so frustrating. It's playing too fast. <sighs> so for, okay, they don't they didn't, they didn't draw it though. Such a huge uh, incredible punt though. Obviously, like just not an archetype I play very often. So against Karuga, so the elemental stack. I mean, you keep. Yeah, if Key was that good, you'd see it in modern all the time. If you did that be against paper, I'd call you moron. If you're calling your opponents morons in paper, you should probably rethink your attitude towards sportsmanship in the game. <laughs> there are worse things in magic to be than a moron like someone who calls your opponents morons probably getting this removed this next turn Three. I can play Karn if I use the Grazer. Karn coding could be good. It's fine.com, it's fine. Sorry for the chat pile on. I was like, the coding is, I like, you just like never get coding. It's so invisible to me. <laughs> you can maybe, you should maybe cut the coding. Uh, I know we're getting it right now. But like funny enough, like it used to be coding was like the main card you get with Karn and now it's like you just never grab it. Yeah, Escape the Wilds was a great suggestion. It's kind of exactly what I was looking for. And just gonna cast it here. Maybe it gets forced. Maybe it doesn't get forced though. Respond with Leyline Binding. Yeah, they're a little bit too worried about coding, I think. A lot of options here. I think I'm just gonna play Simic Growth Chamber and Coding a Land. I'd be okay losing the uh, other escape. Yeah, they have Karuga. Dude, I haven't coding. I haven't like coding and killed a land in the longest time. <laughs> well, I'll just concede. I have no lands in play. Or am I able to name super experts and archetypes Merc, Mengu, Yog, others? Yog, two others? Uh, I, I am able to, but I also don't feel like being pop quiz, so. <laughs> I, I, I can, yeah. I've been around. I'm gonna keep this. I was supposed to, I'm probably supposed to play Second Saga. It's, I don't know, I'm not sure. 
So I play Gardens. I guess if I play Gardens, I can I, I can go crazy next turn instead of having to wait a whole other turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although another Saga is like is like much better against Teferi. Defensive control dead. Yeah, offensive control is alive and well though. Thankfully. Grazer and Saga the turn. I feel like holding the Grazer is good because I have double amulets, but maybe you're right. The sequencing is so tough. Could be right to Grazer this turn. I think it is. Because we have the extra bounce line in the hand. It's actually develop if they can interact with this too. You know, I don't really know why this makes colored mana. <laughs> it's like, really didn't need to have that text on it. Um, I could leave these in play to maybe infinite mana with Curio. Or I think we could take four at least. Probably a good matchup overall, right? Dude, if they have two more Teferis, they're so brutal. Kind of cold to Elishnorn. Well, you can kill your opponent before they play Elishnorn almost every single time. Gardens makes color mana for lore reasons. Yeah. I actually believe that. <laughs> right, it's a garden. <laughs> Power creep on... All the other filter lands that are like just exactly this card without this ability though. So I guess I should probably assume my opponent is going to binding my amulet. But maybe it doesn't matter because I because of the ice I'm short of casting it. I guess I can still cast car, which doesn't do very much. Yeah, I kind of don't hate maybe just playing the Saga and passing. I guess negating this mana doesn't matter much when they have so much mana. Yeah, I'll just like not play around Binding. They almost definitely have it, I feel, but... I think it's better. And they don't have it, which is lucky for me. But I, I think negating the one mana to like play around Binding is worse than just like playing around every single other card. Yeah, I mean, that's just a meeting. I can't, I can't tell her to turn it down. I can point my microphone away. All right, let's block. Ugh, these ices. I could play Karn. I think I'll just play Saga. This Karn doesn't do anything. The fourth to fairy. <laughs> it's not that bad. If one or more battles end up being modern playable, do you think that will lead to an uptick in decks playing to fairy? Uh, not really. I mean, maybe, but it's like if you're a blue white deck in modern, you're you're like and you're not a hammer. You're already playing to fairy, like three or four to fairy. So maybe maybe there will be more of those decks, but I I think it will be a, like an incredibly negligible amount, if any. All right, well, we get to play. Good news is, like, this matchup seems very good on the play. Even if we do lose here. Like, it's a fairy is already a modern staple. The battles will be very fringe playable cards, I believe. Um, okay. Maybe just play another Lotus into Golo Spin. Probably better to escape first. Yeah.
Okay, didn't I, I hit another escape. Let's play that. Oh, could also have stirrings first, looking for another amulet. Those may be better. It's kind of the only card that really matters. We could also have another lotus, though. We still have enough mana to play another timeless lotus, plus our land drop here. We did hit another amulet, which is definitely something we want. Although maybe I still, still should have cast Stirrings before playing this. I can cast the Stirrings before playing my second Timeless Lotus. I mean, my opponent just, like, doesn't have Force of Negation, right? So, I mean, I, I think we're just going to throw the door at him. Just, just gonna show him the door. When was the last time someone got shown the door, Modern? Oh, like last match. <laughs> How many times I pick wrong lotus? That's one punt I haven't made today. <laughs> That's one punt I haven't made today. All right, I can't believe we won that game. <laughs> I don't, I don't, to, to be honest, like my opponent probably had like a million solitudes and stuff, like creature removal, which is like which is like the big strength of this deck over Amulet Titan is like you know not being soft to like heat and solitude, but those cards still like have text against you. It's not Mulligan. Keep. We just put a grazer. Yeah, this version definitely felt a lot better than the key Mystic Forge version. Uh, we we cityscape. We did card for leveler, but ended up not being able to cast it. So, I, I think the card is like nice to have against Murktide in this kind of deck. Um, Murktide obviously popular enough to respect. So we should be able to go Azusa into Lotus. Well, they may kill my Azusa, but I guess now I've got a backup Azusa. Not that that really helps a lot. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of burn today. You know, I think the burn, the uptick in burn makes sense with, like, creativity just being so popular. Um, one of the, you know, just one of the best decks in modern against creativity. Yes, yeah, so they do have the bolt for Azusa, or, you know, a removal spell for Azusa. So I can either Gigant into my hand or just play out the other Azusa and pass. I think I'll, like, my opponent's more likely to tap out and not kill my Azusa if I, if I do just do this. Why the uptake of blue-white control? Your guess is as good as mine. I mean, the deck is fine. The deck has is, is been fine this whole time. It's just like, it feels like they just kind of decided it was fine again. <laughs> oh, damn it. Sorry. I, I'm, I am a mana short, aren't I? I can still play my card, though. My head is spinning from playing this deck. It's like it's like so many times you have like multiple land drops, more amulets. It's <laughs> I, I have played Titan before, it's been a really long time. It's spinning a lot more than it has in the past. Maybe it could have plessed. I actually kinda like getting key. No, let's get Metamorph. Yeah, let's get Metamorph. So if they kill my Azusa, I can just go Metamorph, copy Amulet, and then, like, go off the next turn. I can still, like, do that anyways. And I maybe, maybe, um, can copy the Lotus. Interesting. 
That Searing Blaze is really, really bad for us. They have one card in their hand. Oh, wow. I was hoping for like at the very least like a land we could a land drop we could hit. Obviously, best case scenario is another um, amulets. You just have to put a haywire mine as a blocker. Yeah. We just, I think Chalice would one in this matchup is tough. You just have so many relevant uh, one drops a top deck in those kind of spots. I think we lost against Burn game one last time. Surprise this deck is so bad versus Burn. I don't know that it is so bad. <laughs> I think that their draw lined up well against mine and maybe we had like a lower percentage of draw. Maybe it is. I think we're one and one against Burn today. No, I don't think you're ever supposed to board an amulet. It's like really easy to find one, right? And and you want you want to find them so you can copy them gardens early. Tutoring it with Golet Karn is so slow. But yeah, I, I it would be kind of interesting to cut Karn from the deck. Karn is, you know, fine, but could be a, another top end card to play. Could just play Explore instead also. I think you win that game if you keep a Grazer over Azusa. Yeah, maybe. Is 12 five drops enough? <laughs> I, I think so, yeah. Yeah, just main deck door. Could make like more Emrakuls too. So it seems okay. Yeah, and if you if you cut car on your sideboard options, obviously, like, explode way open, but... Like, I, there isn't, like, an amazing way to just make this deck resilient to, to hate, besides, like, sideboarding into Titan. <laughs> Yeah, combo deck, weak to hate, weird. Okay, so we get to go turn two. Yeah, we, we can play like our whole hand. Yeah, I can play that too. Wish could feel a similar role as Karma more versatile. Yeah, I don't know. Wish kind of sucks, but maybe. Not the worst turn two I've ever had. Anonymous Gifter gave Velt a tier 1 sub, so probably Velt. <laughs> and one Dim Digibot, thank you, thank you. Okay, now we need to pay off, but, you know, got a lot of defense here, and we have a Stirrings at least. I do think it's Golos over Karn here. So I go Copy, Amulet, Golgari, Rot Farm. Yeah, should be able to spin. I can 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 we still have the Azusa mana too. Can, can definitely spin. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. 
think we're just getting a bounce land. We probably just get Lotus Field. Yeah, Lotus Field actually should let us um, spin twice at least. Although I guess we don't. We need we need more white or red. Shouldn't be too out of the question to get it. Yeah, there's another Golos that can get it. There's also a Karn. So I have... Oh, they just concede. So I can go Golos for plus four, Azusa, this Azusa land plus four, for eight plus... Yeah, a little... A, one mana short, I think, of just showing them the door. But. Uh, okay, Mulligan this. Keep this one, put back Forest. Also Hammer, yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of comparing it to like Smash to Smithereens. And so it's like, like, like if you play Smash, like you're worse against Titan, although Smash isn't terrible against Titan, but Wear Tear is a lot better. Okay, a lot of burn today, y'all. <laughs> a lot of burn today. I guess I can tutor up Lotus Field. Yeah, I can tutor up Lotus Field. To have enough mana to go Lotus double untap Karn. It could be a little slow. We may have to draw something. So it spins Rift Bolts, grab Lotus Field. Flow to mana, grab an amulet. So we're gonna have Karn plus six mana. I don't have like a worm coil. I should maybe have a cyborg card for the bird matchup or like a dedicated cyborg card for the bird matchup since um, seems to be so popular. Oh, we have seven mana. I don't know how different that is. Um, I could get, I think I have enough to yeah, I can go. I can make infinite mana here. I can make infinite mana and put Gigantha into play. Could also Chalice on three. Stop the Rift Bolt. Ballista on three, we did the Boris Charmer two burn spells. And then infinite mana next turn. Liking that more than any other option right now. Yeah, I think I think I like that line. Uh, just Karn Ballista, Infinite Mana next turn. And then and then the Ballista is still in play and I can use it to win the game with the infinite mana from Filgree. Yeah, I know they have the Rift Bolt suspended. I'm presuming that it's going to go at me. And if it doesn't go at me, that's probably good news. So, yeah, Rift. So, I'm either dead to bo one Boros Charm or two Burn Spells. And they've already used two Boros Charms. So, it's actually really unlikely that I, I just am dead with the Met 2 cards. They have to have third Boros Charm or two tar targeted Burn Spells, which is, you know, not super likely. Suspends Rift Bolt. Tap Sacred Founder. Okay, so we win. Third Amulet makes the. Yeah, so we just we'll see if they're familiar with Filgree Sages. I was I wasn't at Filgree Sages was actually um, a chat suggestion this morning. Although I loosely remember Frank Karsten tweeting about it. Uh, when Timeless Lotus was spoiled. But this is an infinite mana combo, which you can use to kill with Ballista. Will my opponent concede? We'll see. People are like less likely to concede to you when you're playing a deck they've never seen. I, uh... 
know that better than most. Could play Filgry Sages in 8 key. Okay, so this is 14, 22, 28. 28 divided by 4. I just need to get this to 10 power. Yeah, the clicks aren't too bad. I, I'm kind of thinking maybe my opponent will concede if I just do this a couple times. I don't think I have enough mana, though. Okay, well. Okay, they, they did concede. Okay, game two. Nice to win game one this time. Pretty, I think pretty important to win game one with this deck. Like, it's just so easy to lose a sideboard game to sideboard cards. Yeah, I, I, my, I don't think that my opponent here is, like, making me click through the combo because they're the type of player that it, it just wants me to click through the combo. I think I'm playing a weird deck and they're confused. <laughs> and they're just trying to soak it in is usually what happens, right? Happened all the time with the Dark Pool deck. Like, my opponents didn't realize they were taking a damage to the Dark Pool, and like it would take like ten minutes, and they're like, "Oh, I was dying. I didn't realize." Okay, on the draw. I think on the draw against Burn we Mulligan. Mulligan and No Lander. Keep on five. Put back Azusa Sanctuary. And probably go to game. <laughs> uh, three in a second. It's a nice pickup, though. Also a good pickup. Still don't have a red source for Escape to the Wilds. Maybe Goblin Guide will help us out. I have the stirrings also to dig for Turf or Lotus. They target me and not the Grazer, which is interesting. And then they skewer me. It's very interesting. Okay, so we're looking for Lotus or Gruel Turf. There's Lotus, which is better than Turf. Pick up Lotus. This is so fun. Golos, Cataracts. Um, I'm trying to think if I can afford to play the stirrings first or not here. Yeah, I should be able to. Even if I miss, which I kind of do. Although now can't I just go... Go low, slow to field door? Do I have enough mana? One, two, three, so I one so I have four mana left after I go low. So get Lotus Field up to ten. Yeah, not enough. Not enough, so I guess we escape again. <laughs> Alright, that'll do it. That'll do. Yeah, so we're just going to... Uh, we need 19 mana. Which we might have right now. We have two more Grazers, which are plus three mana each time if we're short. So this is 8 plus 3, 11, plus 6, 18, so we're one short. That 
Beck is uh, kind of melting my brain today. That wasn't already apparent. 10, 13, 18. 18 exactly? Okay, I, my, I, my brain is, if I was more confident in being able to count, I would door them right now. But the punt density has been too high today to trust my uh, math. Just gotta show our opponent the door. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Can't literally can't even see it. It's how it's how fried my brain is after uh, nearly five hours of this. All right, opponent, you may exit the game now. <laughs> you may exit the game. Alright, let's get into, uh, Cloudstone goes infinite with double, double Grazer Amulet. Okay, get another 4-1 prediction. About the price I'd pay. Oh, this hand is nuts. Hmm, good old Bant Stoneblade, huh? Well, deck that's very, definitely very near and dear to my heart. Um, in my experience, I really prefer to play one Banth Triome and then just a bunch of basic lands than to play two snow lands. I think that that's a big thing. I also hate Supreme Verdict and and like a Stone Blade. It's like in a Noble Hierarch deck, I would I would never play Supreme Verdict in uh, the main here. Okay, now I need to combo off real quick. I'll give some more thoughts in a second. A lot of times I can just autopilot and do the deck techs for this. Not so much. This is turn two. Would I consider one Crumbling Vestige of Ruin Force? I would consider it, sure. So we'll land to play, right? Could settle be better? Settle the wreckage. I I don't. You don't need a, a sweeper effect in the main deck. You're a sol. You're a solitude deck with ephemerate. That like that is your sweeper. A solitude plus ephemerate. Yeah, we are five mana short of showing our opponent the door. We can make infinite mana here with sages, but we don't have another payoff. So I think we just level with them. So why am I on the dark side? I'm li literally playing Timeless Lotus. Yeah, I'm, I'm counting the other land drop. I'm counting the other land drop in my calculations here. <laughs> why are you on the dark side and casting Timeless Lotus? Just a bit of banter. Turn two Cityscape Leveler is a very good against Murktide also. Could have mapped to Gardens. Does it do anything? I don't think that that's a mana positive play here. Okay, so that's kind of my first thoughts here. Is like with um, with Solitude Ephemerate, like you you just have. <laughs> That's your sweeper. You don't need verdict. I also don't like Squadron Hawk if you're not playing um, if you're not playing uh, Shining Shoal and or Force of Virtue. I think you have to play one of those cards um, for me to be like behind um, Squadron Hawk. And so you could do that. You could play you could play one of those effects. But I think I'd prefer to just not play Squadron Hawk in this shell to be. White Frank could get a um, a key here. I think I think that we are we're gonna win, kind of no matter what. Um, I think I can door. 
Let's just try to door. Let's have some fun. I'll get back to the deck tech in a second. So I have three land drops remaining. And I can use one of them for Cascading Cataracts. <laughs> My opponent says, okay, mag respect. Key would have won with door. Uh, we can win with door here anyways. With, Azu with Azusa, the, um, the amulet is more mana, right? It's six instead of four. I have mana in combination. So I can make white, white, black, red. Why aren't we doing this on main phase two? I had some, I had some, you can't blow up lands with Cityscape Leveler and I had mana floating. Um, and you can't blow up lands with Cityscape Leveler. So one, two, three, four, five. White, white, black, red, green. One, two, three. Oh no, I'm short, I'm too short. It's getting counterspelled anyways. Okay. So yeah, I, I think I would like to cut the squadron talk. Sorry for all the pauses, but when you when you do a deck tech during the, the Last match of the league, you're gonna get some pauses. I think I, I would I would really like to play four to Fairy Time Raveler. I like to play four Noble Hierarch. Um, I like to play one less Jace the Mind Sculptor and one more Memory Deluge potentially. Um, that gives you like two extra flex spots when you're also considering the Supreme Verdicts. The Supreme Verdicts being cut rather. Um, so we can think about that a little bit after I click submit here. Probably, probably would play like two endurances in the main deck at that spot. Um, you also can play counterspell over mana leak. It's it's not great, but honestly, like if you're just, I would play a mana base of one bant triome, one bant triome, three basic, three snow covered island, one snow covered forest, two snow covered plains, um, one of each shock land. So that's what six. Six basics, four non-basic fetchables, ten, and then I would play twelve fetch lands, four four heath, four um, four uh, uh, flooded strand, four uh, the other one, and then you have one other flex spot, which could be like one, which probably should just be a prismatic vista. It's like better than hall of the storm giants and stuff. Uh, it's like the fifteenth fetch. I think that's even fine. You can play counterspell over mana leak at that point. Um, yeah, so like that, that that's the changes I want to make to the mana base. One Jace for one Memory Deluge. Um, one Verdict for one Noble Hierarch. Four Squadron Hawks for um, two Endurance, two Teferi, and then four Mana League for four Counterspell in the main. Uh, I would play the fourth Sanctifier in Vec over the second Celestial Purge for sure. I would probably play no purges, just four Sanctifiers. The Teferi's in the main deck. I wouldn't play these Verdicts. Um, I, I feel like you really need some answers to Sagas. So you probably need to play Dress Down, like three Dress Downs. Three Dress Downs and like third Flusterstorm. I'd probably play four Flusterstorm, zero Dovin's Veto. Or like four, four Flusterstorm before the first Veto. In this deck, one mana versus two mana is just so important. So, some loose thoughts. Good luck to you. Love Band Stoneblade. Used to play a lot of it. Okay, Snap Keep. Deluge seems kind of bad deck. I don't know. Deluge is just like the best card advantage spell in blue. It's just it's just the best card advantage spell. I don't know that I, I just agree. D chill three months. Thank you. Yeah, how can you not subscribe to Door to Nothing? This content, a great review. This is actually an incredible aspiring spike chat. I am yet to play a single game of Modern in my life. But how can you not subscribe to the competitive Door to Nothingness content? Aspiring Spike stream summarized and want to comment. Thank you. Grammar. It's not whatever this uh, extension is called. Did that actually, maybe I closed before the tweet went through. I think it went through. 
Okay, did. Okay, I think that they meant two explosives on one here. The worst part about not having every plate thing up is you can see all my typos in the magic chat too. Yeah, Merc Tide is hard to play. <laughs> this is, what, is the conclusion we're coming to today. Imagine if I should put out the explosives. Yeah, imagine two months ago saying I was supposed to play Face Hitcher to Food and like play, play, seriously play Door to Nothingness in a deck. I, I would have not believed you. I would have been like, all right, get out of here. Um, let's play into Spell Pierce since my opponent punted with the explosives. Maybe I wouldn't do this all the time. But I feel like we gotta, you know, let them Spell Pierce the escape if they have it and die if they don't. Why transfer my opponent's upkeep? Um, but my whole, my, if they have a braid, like, they're, like, I either don't want to let them draw a braid or I want to, um, give them the smallest window for, like, the targeted destruction. It's, like, that's just, it's just the best time, uh, honestly, at a very simple level. It's just, it's just the time. You escaped to the wild, so good. Banned in standard. Is it is it still banned in is it banned in pioneer? Just banned in standard, right? Just yeah, I think just standard. I think there are other Kuruga decks out there. I've played like Lotus Field with Kuruga. I think that I respect the cat's Kuruga list is the best Kuruga list though. Another amulet. Tell us turn three Mercool. This is better than turn. We can't. This can be turn three Mercool, but I think we're just gonna door to nothingness them again. Right. This is plus fifteen. I have nineteen. Karn. Karn for doors exactly. It says, I have a single final request. Door me. Deal. Oh, we also have Azusa. Azusa's plus, like, a million mana. But my, with my opponent saying I have a single final request, we will just show them the door. Dude, this is, like, having 15 mana in your pool so you can spend Wooberg for the door feels so satisfying. We've had a lot of turn three door kills today. Although my opponent did punch really bad. Easy to forget. <laughs> feels good. Feels good. I think the first draft we had was, you know, worse than the uh, Stage of the Wilds tech. Chad had some good check tech today. The Filgree Sages and Escape to the Wilds, both great chat suggestions. <laughs> Opponent said they will prime sub. Let's go. Let's go. Keep jamming until 5 -0. I'm five hours into the stream and my brain is burnt ashes. Burnt ashes. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll be, we'll play more of the deck, though. Maybe just start with it tomorrow. It's just This deck was just so sick. Yeah, but with, with 7-3 in the last two leagues, this version was actually pretty good. Uh... Yeah, I know Brain's too fried for Dark Souls too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, I burnt ashes into Dark Souls. Let me think. So I think that I'm gonna be real I'm gonna sleep on the uh I'm gonna sleep on the car and sideboard. Obviously that think these most work. It's weird, but I think I kinda wanna cut bridge and coding. I wanna like these are these were like the two worst ones by a lot. We got each of them once and they were both I guess one time it was okay. But I, I feel like I'm kind of down to cut bridge and coding. Bridge, bridge specifically, with all the bounce land, it was just like so hard to ever have it work. Um, may immediately regret. Is key good? I think the first key is good enough to play, yeah. Uh, it is cuttable, though. It's not mandatory. You could play some number. 
Um, defense grid. I, I, you never want a Karn for defense grid because they'll just counter your Karn if they have counter spells. Yeah, we could play a graveyard hate spell. We could also play like, we could we could play like um, welding jars. Like having some welding jars to bring in against forces seems pretty nice. So I'm I'm gonna sleep on it a little bit, but the I'll, I'll tweet out this list too. But this this is like a close to the list. I, I'm I'm you know suggesting. Yeah, I, I think it's e I think it's easy to like just cut the bridge, but also like. You know, you just mulligan and you're up against hammer and you have like car and three mana. Oh no, I can't bridge, so I'm not sure. Like like I feel like you I don't know, it's it's tough. Uh new coat, ten months thank you. You opened you showed your opponent the door but left it open for dozens of new subs, including me. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you.